Ya. Ujian promosi doktor pendidikan pasca sarjana Universitas Negeri Semarang, Kamis 17 Desember 2020, atas nama Saudari Siti Aimah SPD MPD dimulai. Sekretaris penguji melaporkan kepada Ketua Penguji bahwa ujian promosi doktor pendidikan atas nama Saudari Siti Aimah SPD MPD siap dimulai. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bapak Rektor yang amat cendekia, Bapak Ibu penguji yang sangat terpelajar, para tamu undangan yang kami hormati, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin pada hari ini Kamis 17 Desember 2020 program studi ilmu pendidikan bahasa S3 Pasca Sarjana Universitas Negeri Semarang mengajukan Saudari Siti Aimah SPD MPD sebagai rumah penda untuk dapat diujikan disertasinya yang berjudul The Effectiveness of Expert Credit Micro Teaching in Developing Philips Pedagogical Contents Knowledge and Teaching Performance of Pre Service English Teacher at Universitas Muhammadiyah Semarang. Saya laporkan kepada Bapak Rektor dan para penguji semuanya bahwa Permopenda telah menyelesaikan semua perkuliahan serta telah menjalani beberapa tahapan pengujian disertasi sebelumnya di Pasca Sarjana UNES dan kesemuanya dinyatakan lulus serta telah memenuhi syarat untuk ujian disertasi tahap kedua ini. Oleh karena itu, saya mohon Bapak Rektor selaku Ketua Penguji untuk membuka dan sekaligus memimpin ujian disertasi secara resmi. Akhirul kalam, wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Saudara Permapenda, Bapak Rektor, sedang ada acara yang tidak bisa ditinggalkan dan beliau mewakilkan saya untuk Uh, ini prosesnya beliau lima menit lagi baru akan bisa ini apa namanya uh, maka ini uh, saya buka nanti Pak Rektor dalam perjalanan akan masuk apakah saudara bersedia untuk saya Buka dulu ini. Oke, bersedia, Prof. Baik, terima kasih. Uh, sebelum saya buka, apakah saudari dalam keadaan sehat? Insya Allah sehat. Baik. Apakah benar karya yang nanti saudara, saudara bertanggung jawabkan adalah karya asli saudara sendiri? Oke, Prof. Baik, silakan. Baca surat pernyataan keaslian lalu tanda tangani di atas materi. Pernyataan keaslian. Dengan ini saya nama Siti Aima SPD MPD NIM 02016170011 Program Studi Ilmu Pendidikan Bahasa S3 menyatakan bahwa yang tertulis dalam disertasi yang berjudul The Effectiveness of Expert Guided Micro Teaching in Developing Beliefs Pedagogical Content Knowledge and teaching performance of free service English teachers at Universitas Muhammadiyah Semarang ini benar-benar karya saya sendiri, bukan ciplakan dari karya orang lain atau pengutipan dengan cara-cara yang tidak sesuai dengan etika keilmuan yang berlaku, baik sebagian ataupun seluruhnya. Pendapat atau temuan orang lain yang terdapat dalam disertasi ini dikutip atau dirujuk berdasarkan kode etik ilmiah. Atas pernyataan ini, saya secara pribadi siap menanggung resiko atau sanksi hukum yang dijatuhkan apabila ditemukan adanya pelanggaran terhadap etika keilmuan dalam karya ini. Semarang 17 Desember 2020 yang membuat pernyataan Siti Aima SPD MPD. Di 
Bisa terlihat nih, Prof? Ya, udah cukup. Baik. Ya, siap ujian ya. ya Insya Allah, Prof. Baik. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ujian promosi doktor pendidikan saudari Siti Aimah SPD MPD secara resmi saya nyatakan dibuka. Selanjutnya saya perkenalkan tim pemuji dari Ketua Profesor Dr. Fatur Rahman Mhum, Sekretaris Profesor Dr. Agus Nuryadin Mhum, anggota Profesor Dr. Sukarno MSI, Dua, Sri Muli Fitriati SPD MPD PSD, penguji dua, tiga, Profesor Dr. Januarius Mujianto MHUM, sebagai penguji tiga, empat, Dr. Dwi Anggani LB MPD, penguji empat, lima, Prof. Mursid Saleh MA PSD, penguji lima, enam, Profesor Dr. Dwi Rukmini MPD sebagai penguji enam. Selanjutnya dipersilakan Prof. Penda untuk berdoa terlebih dahulu. Assalamualaikum Pak Direktur. Waalaikumsalam. Pak Baru bisa Batu. masuk. Waalaikumsalam. Sudah dimulai ya? Ini sedang berdoa yang bersangkutan Prof. Penda, oh, Pak ya. Direktur. Jadi, Mas Merdi sudah bisa masuk ya, Pak Dokter ya. Baik, nah, silakan dilanjutkan paparan maksimal lima menit. Mohon izin Pak Rektor ini tadi sudah kami ya. buka dulu. Eh. Monggo, mulai. Pagi wabarakatuh. Well, the Honorable Director of Universitas Negeri Semarang, Honorable the Director of Postgraduate Program of Universitas Negeri Semarang, all examiners and distinguished guests, good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I would like first of all to say thank you very much for giving me time to present my dissertation entitled The Effectiveness of Expert Guided Micro Teaching in developing beliefs, pedagogical content knowledge, and teaching performance of free service English teachers at Universitas Muhammadiyah Semarang. And I have divided my presentation into four parts. The first one is about introduction, and then the second one is research methodology. The third one is research finding and discussion, and the last one is conclusion and recommendation. And let's start from the first point. When we are talking about micro-teaching, in teacher education program, it is regarded as one of the crucial subject, and it is understandable since micro teaching allows pre service English teacher to gain more teaching experiences. And at this point, pre service English teacher are also provided to develop their multiple teacher skills. Considering the benefit and the process of micro teaching, pre service English teachers should have fulfilled the criteria required by the practicing schools. Unfortunately, the demands from practicing school have not been fulfilled yet. The lack of pre-service English teachers competent here, um, covering their ability in designing a lesson plan, in mastering the subject matter, and also in managing time in classroom becomes the main problem here. And when we are talking about those three things, it is actually related to pedagogical and the knowledge. So this is about pre-service English teachers' ability to represent and formulate the content to be more comprehensible to students. So at this point, what need to prepare and possess by pre service English teacher is that they have to know what to teach and how to teach. Besides knowledge and practice, another point determining the success of teaching and learning lies in pre service English teachers' beliefs. And at this point, their educational experiences can be optimized since they do not have their own class to determine help out and also shape their knowledge for carrying out the instructional processes. Another gap uh, found that there is very little theorized documentation of micro teaching supported and guided by the expert teacher. And most researchers currently shift their studies to technological pedagogical content knowledge. Whereas pedagogical content knowledge is very crucial for pre-service English teacher because 
um, before they have to integrate um, the use of the technology in the teaching and learning process. Another point is that there are no studies investigate expert in micro teaching in English, focusing on developing pedagogical content knowledge. And I have formulated five research questions here. The first one is how well did the expert teacher play her roles in the micro teaching class? And then the second one, how effective is expert guided micro teaching in raising pre service and with teachers' beliefs in language teaching and learning? Third, how effective is expert guided micro teaching in increasing pre service and with teachers' pedagogical content knowledge? And then fourth, how effective is expert guided micro teaching in enhancing pre service and with teachers' teaching performance? And then the last one is how effective is expert guided micro teaching in improving pre service and with teachers' teaching performance? in the teaching internship. And let's move on to the research methodology in which the research design employed in this study is mixed method design. That is collecting, analyzing, interpreting, and integrating quantitative and qualitative data in a longitudinal study. And that's why, why is study categorized into a longitudinal study because it was conducted in two semester continuously that was when pre-service English teacher were in the sixth semester joining the micro teaching class and also when they were in the seventh semester joining the teaching internship. And the type of mixed method here is multi-phase mixed method in which there were two phases occurred during the study. Phase one occurred during expert guided micro teaching and phase two occurred during teaching internship. And equivalent time series design was employed um, by considering the limitation of the number of participants. All right, and what about the research participants here? Well, the research participants involved in the study uh, were the six semester students of the English Education Department of Universitas Muhammadiyah Semarang in the academic year of 2018 and 2019. And to make sure that the instrument were valid and reliable, the instrument were firstly tried out to 59 pieces English teachers of SDK IP Jombang. And to obtain the data, some research instruments were employed in which the research instruments were observation, questionnaire, interview, document, and also test. And those instruments were used to obtain the data for answering the research question. And as PSS version 21 was employed uh, to analyze the quantitative data of the study covering descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. And let's move on to the research finding, in which the research findings here are based on the research question. And dealing with the first research finding, the data shows that the expert teacher didn't play her role as an instructor well and counselor well. However, she played her role as an evaluator quite well in the micro teaching class. And based on the result of the end game, because it is at a medium level, uh, it can be said that the expert teacher played her roles quite well in the micro teaching class. And based on the result of the interview, pre service English teacher expected the expert teacher to play her roles of an instructor and a counselor as good as an evaluator. And let's move on to the second research finding in which the data also show that expert guided micro teaching cannot be said effective in raising pre service English teachers' beliefs in language teaching and learning. And it is also supported from the result of the end game uh, in which the data shows that it is at a low level. So it can be said that expert guided micro teaching is not effective in enhancing pre service English teachers' beliefs in language teaching and learning. And what about the third research finding? Well, uh, at this point, expert guided micro teaching is effective to increase pre service English teachers' content knowledge, which is also a part of pedagogical content knowledge. And because the result of the end game here is at the medium level, so it can be inferred that expert guided micro teaching is quite effective in improving pre service English teachers' content knowledge. And seen from the data of lesson plan, Expert guided micro teaching here is effective to promote pre service English teachers' lesson plan. And um, from the result of the end game, because it is at a high level, it can be concluded that expert guided micro teaching is effective in enhancing pre service English teachers' lesson plan. And seen from the result of pedagogical content knowledge itself, expert guided micro teaching also significantly makes pre service English teachers' pedagogical content knowledge better. And it is also supported from the result of the end game in which it is at a high level. 
So it can be said that the service English teachers' pedagogical content knowledge improves very well after participating in expert data micro teaching. And the assistant and exemplary lesson shared by uh, the expert teacher here help the service English teacher to understand how to practice their teaching, including how to involve actively their student in the teaching and learning process. And let's move on to the fourth research finding. Well, the data shows that expert data micro teaching here significantly enhanced pre service English teachers' teaching performance. And because the result of the end game here is also at a high level, so it can be concluded that expert data micro teaching is effective in improving pre service English teachers' teaching performance. And feedback can also be said effective in enhancing pre service English teachers' performance. Uh, which is not only uh, focused on the weaknesses, but also the strength of free service English teachers' environment. And let's move on to the fifth research finding in which the data explicate that expert data micro teaching is effective in making free service English teachers' teaching environment in the teaching intrinsic body. And it is also supported from the result of the end game in which it is at a high level. So expert data micro teaching is effective in enhancing pre-service English teachers' teaching performance in the teaching internship. And expert data micro teaching here also help pre-service English teacher improve their teaching performance, including time management and classroom, which become the main, uh, the common problem faced by pre-service English teacher in the teaching internship. Okay, and now let's move on to the conclusion, which are also created based on the research finding. And dealing with the first research conclusion, there are five points that uh, have been highlighted here. Uh, the first one, the expert teacher played the first role as instructor quite well in the micro teaching class. And then uh, the different condition happened in the second role in which the expert teacher didn't play the role as a counselor well in the micro teaching class. And for the third point, the expert teacher here played the third role as evaluator well in the micro teaching class. The limited time of the micro teaching class, the characteristic of the micro teaching class, and also the expert teacher's own experience in handling micro teaching class very much influenced her to play her roles in the micro teaching class. And then the roles of the expert teacher in the micro teaching class also determine whether or not pre service English teacher obtain and develop teaching skills started from lesson preparation to exercise correction. And now let's go to the second research conclusion. In this point, there are three, high, three points highlighted here. The first one is expert graded micro teaching does not raise pre service English teachers' beliefs in language teaching and learning. It is because the very short time period to learn and engage, and there are not any sustainable programs for pre service English teachers to practice in the field cause the difficulty of the changes of beliefs of pre-service English teacher. And then pre-service English teachers' beliefs are influenced by their practical knowledge and pedagogical practices, including what they work and where they practice. And what about the third research conclusion? Well, at the first point, pre-service English teachers here are afforded to learn how to design lesson plan, achieve the learning goals, select and adjust the material with students need and evaluate students' understanding. And pre-service English teacher here are also more aware to understand and deepen their content knowledge, mainly English, to help students learning problem. And the third point is pre-service English teacher's ability to interpret the subject matter, simplify the subject matter, and choose the appropriate learning strategies, tailor and adjust the subject matter with students' need and characteristic becomes the focus of gaining and developing their pedagogical content knowledge. And uh, let's come to the for research conclusion. Well, at the first point, we can see that pre-service English teacher here are more experienced in teaching and are able to avoid of making the same mistake. And feedback enable pre-service English teacher to learn not only to change the way of teaching, but also to reflect the way of teaching. And then the third one, exemplary lessons shared with pre-service English teacher give clear guidance on how to implement the instructional process. And then the fourth one, pre-service English teacher are also afforded to intensively engage with others and develop their pedagogical content knowledge and teaching skill to support their teaching performance. And this is the last recent uh, conclusion in which four points highlighted here.
The first one is expert data micro teaching significantly improves pre service English teachers' teaching performance in the teaching internship. And then the use of expert gated micro teaching steps provide opportunities to involve practicing teachers and peers in giving feedback to pre service English teacher performance. And expert gated micro teaching also provides pre service English teachers to have an awareness of understanding the roles of teachers. And then the last one, expert data micro teaching enable pre service English teachers to construct their knowledge. All right. And now we come to the recommendation, which are also created based on the research conclusion. And dealing with the first research recommendation, there are five points uh, that should be considered here. The first one is the expert teachers to optimize the role of an instructor. And then the session of expert data micro teaching should be organized in sufficient time. The third one, the expert teachers to understand and play the roles of advisor equally. And then the expert teachers to understand the three roles of the advisor and consider the time management, the characteristic, and the experience of teaching. And then the expert teachers should also play the three role of advisor well in assisting pre service English teachers in the micro teaching class. And this is the second research recommendation in which the first point, the steps of expert guided micro teaching should be integrated with other pedagogical courses. And then expert guided micro teaching should be organized in appropriate time. And English teacher education program should provide pre service English teachers with practical courses. And we come to the third recent recommendation, in which also there are three points that should be uh, considered. Um, in which, for the first point, English teacher education programs should strengthen pre service English teachers with pedagogical knowledge in pedagogical courses. And then pre service English teachers should be given a chance to practice teaching with various topics of learning. And also, English lecturers should strengthen pre service English teachers' pedagogical content knowledge from lesson preparation to exercise correction. And this is about the four um, research recommendations, in which also there are four points that should be considered from expert get a micro teaching should be organized systematically, and then feedback should also be integrated and implemented in other pedagogical and practical courses and so on. All right, and this is the last one for the research recommendation. And this is for my publication. Thank you very much. Director. <laughs> yeah. Bagaimana Pak Direktur? Ini sudah. Oh ya, baik. Baik, terima kasih Pak Direktur. Uh, sebelum nanti ke para penguji, saya ingin pertama menyampaikan selamat untuk Saudara Promovenda, Ibu Siti Aimah. You are very good and fluent in English, ya. Bagus sekali. Dan juga para penguji yang setelah siap semu semuanya ya, Pak Direktur Pasca, Pak Agus Nuryatin, ya, ya. Prof. Dr. Soekarno, MSI, ya, Ibu Sri Wuli, Fitriati, ya, Prof. Ya, Bu Wuli, Prof. Dr. Januarus, Mujianto, Siap, Prof. Kemudian, ya, menurut Prof. Dr. Dwi Anggani, Amin. Kemudian, ya, Prof. Mursid Saleh, MAPSD, ini guru kita, dan Prof. Dr. Dwi Rukmini, semuanya yang saya eh, hormati. Persyaratan administrasi sudah lengkap ya Pak Direktur ya. Ya, sudah. Kemudian persyaratan eh, akademik pada hujan-hujan sebelumnya sudah terpenuhi dan integritas ya. sudah ditantangani ya Pak Direktur ya. Sudah. Jadi. Ya, baik. jadi hujan ini sudah e, dibuka tadi oleh Pak Direktur. Saya ingin barangkali pertama mengapresiasi ya, ya Saudara Promovenda. Halo Promovenda. Ya, Bro. Ya, I express my appreciation for your research uh, results. Thank This you, is very relevant with the 
developing competency and performance of uh, teachers, especially in LPTK uh, through the micro teaching program. Yes. Uh, I want to uh, ask you about the factor or determinant factors that need to be developed in the model of micro teaching in uh, LPTK especially. What is the de determinant factors? Well, uh, okay, please. all right. Dealing with the expert data micro teaching, it is actually about the guidance and also the assistance from the expert teacher in the micro teaching class. So it is actually, there is an involvement of the expert teacher in the micro teaching class for, for guiding and also for assisting pre-service English teacher to develop their pedagogical content knowledge and teaching performance. Because I think that teaching performance is uh, closely related to pedagogical content knowledge. So this point that must be highlighted in this research. Okay. The main factor is the content of the material, all the strategy of uh, pedagogies in your research? Yes, all right. Uh, dealing with the pedagogical content knowledge, it is actually related to four aspect roles. So it, it must be seen from four aspects. For the first one, for example, subject matter knowledge. So this is about pre-service English teachers' ability in comprehending the subject matter uh, to teach to students. And then the second one is structural representation and strategies. This is about pre-service English teachers' ability in uh, what is it in giving explanation, analogies, uh, example, and also selecting the appropriate oh, yes. to students. And okay, good. Yeah, I think is enough. Uh, good success for you, and you. I hope that you develop uh, for the mm -hmm. dissemination of your research and share for your knowledge uh, to the teacher, maybe to lecture how to develop the micro teaching. Uh, to prepare uh, the teacher to teach uh, with good competence, belief, and good performance. Yeah. Okay. Selamat ya. Okay, terima kasih. Uh, yeah, okay. Pak Direktur dilanjutkan ya. Saya pamit ya. Pak Rektor. Mudah-mudahan ya. Uh, Rektor Unimus Prof Mas Rugi ber bergabung juga ini. Oh ya. Dan. Assalamualaikum Pak Rektor. Wah wow, luar biasa ini dosennya fluent in English ya. Pak <laughs> ya. Ya, ya <laughs> sama fluency dengan Rektor Unes ini. <laughs> I am little little in English ya. Yeah. Just little little speak English. Of course. Oke okay. <laughs> okay, selamat ya Prof ya. Very ya, much Mr. Rektor. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Pak Rektor <laughs> monggo dilanjut ya. Saya pamit. Prof hey. Suki pamit ya. Oke, okay. yuk, bangga, bangga. Okay. Terima kasih, Pak Rektor. Selamat menjalankan tugas yang lain. Baik, eh, ikut ada ujian tanya jawab. Dipersilakan nanti setiap penguji waktu maksimal 10 menit. Mulai dari Profesor Dr. Soekarno MSI. Dipersilakan, Pak Soekarno, waktu maksimal 10 menit. Terima kasih. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bapak Ketua, Sekretaris Dewan Penguji yang sangat mendekia, Bapak Ibu anggota penguji yang juga saya sangat hormati, mohon izin mendahului memberikan diberikan kesempatan pertama. Terima kasih. Mbak Siti Aimah. Assalamualaikum. First of all, let me personally congratulate you on the completion of your dissertation draft. Thank you, bro. You have done a good job to comply with one of the requirements to be a doctor in language education. And it is up to five, 500 pages or so. A very thick and very complete dissertation. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, bro. Well, I have several questions to raise and also items to build to be suggested. First of all, my first question has something to do with your hypothesis. Please 
clarify why did you write only four hypotheses at the end of chapter two on page 56? Well, you have five research questions. Yes, okay. please. Yes, thank you, Prof. Well, dealing with the research question, the alternative, the hypothesis referred to uh, the alternative hypothesis, which can be found in research question of number two, number three, number uh, number two, number three, number four, and number five. And uh, why is the first research question uh, doesn't refer to the alternative hypothesis? I mean that uh, there is no hypothesis for the first research question because the first research question is uh, refers to the qualitative one, bro. So I need not to prove um, the research question with the data, whether or not it is uh, evaluative. The expert teacher, expert guided micro teaching is evaluative because uh, dealing or referring to the first research question, uh, I just need to describe, I just need to uh, explain uh, how well the expert teacher in playing the roles in the, uh, in the micro teaching class. So I think that for the first research question is not much uh, to be created in the hypothesis. Okay, thank you for the information. And you do have five theoretical research significances. Yes. Or contributions, which are written on page 10 to 11. You always wrote the result of the study brings usefulness for scientific development by enriching the concepts and theories to support the science and knowledge. Very high theoretical <laughs> contribution. All right. So, my simple question is. How did it enrich the existing concepts and theories? Give yeah. me a clear example. All right, uh, because basically it support the, uh, what is it? It support the literature on the effectiveness of expurgated micro teaching in developing pre-servicing these teachers' beliefs in language teaching and learning, pedagogical content knowledge and teaching performance. And so it is in strengthening the existing theory, yeah? This, this, this type, also contribute to the um, sociocultural theory in which expert guided micro teaching triggers pre service English teachers to be adaptive learners who are aware and also willing to learn and engage from others to create a meaningful learning to students. Okay, so, all right. Uh, number three, it seems to me that your research findings have a trouble with their consistency. Please show me your PowerPoint slides on research findings. Share the screen. It's on research findings. Research finding in yes. what? Yeah, this one. Yeah. The first finding reads, please read it. All right. Uh, the the expert first teacher. This one. All right, the expert teacher didn't play her role as instructor and a counselor well. However, she played her role as an evaluator quite well in the micro teaching class. And now share the screen of the, so the, the expert teacher did not play her role as instructor and as counselor, right? Okay. Now show me the conclusion, the first conclusion. The expert teacher played the first role quite well. Yes. They uh, are contradicting, right? All right. Uh, well, it is actually has been mentioned and has been uh, supported uh, in the dissertation prof in which uh, the GLM repeated measure also uh, present the data for each, um, for each role of the expert teacher. So um, based on the result of the GLM repeated measure test and also based on the result of the end gain, for the instructor, it says that uh, the expert teacher played the, the first role as instructor quite well. But uh, for the second, uh, it is contradictory in which uh, for the counselor, she didn't play the role well in the micro teaching class. Mm, so they are contradictory. I mean, the research finding and the conclusion. So you need yeah. to yeah. Yeah, make it. Uh, mm -hmm. suitable, I mean, conform to each other, okay? Now the next tale in relation to your findings and conclusion, 
some of the sub conclusions do not meet your expectation, right? Okay. Yeah, say for example, sub conclusion 1.2, the expert teacher did not play as you showed before, and also 2.1 expert guided micro teaching does not raise blah, 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 blah. And also the other unexpected issues. Yes. My question is why did it happen or what is the logic behind the conclusions? Yes, All right. please. Uh, dealing with this point, I think that because of the limited time of the micro teaching class, the characteristic of the micro teaching class and the expert teacher's own experience in handling the micro teaching class before very much influenced her to play the roles in the micro teaching class role. Because basically, I commonly that uh, the expert teacher also handles a micro teaching class and uh, it dominates to give uh, the evaluation of uh, uh, pre-service English teacher's teaching environment. So at this point, um, for playing the role of instructor and counselor, what need to um, consider by uh, the expert teacher is that uh, pre-service English teacher needs guidance and also uh, assistance intensively uh, for developing their pedagogical content knowledge and teaching problem. Thank you for the information. Well, uh, my next questions. As we know, a good dissertation is characterized as having appropriate novelty, whether theoretical, practical, or pedagogical novelty. Now in a great detail if possible, tell me the theoretical, once again, the theoretical novelty of your dissertation. Um, oh, uh, talking about the theoretical novelty, uh, may I ask a question, Prof? Is it yes. also the same um, as the theoretical contribution? Uh, it's different, novelty first, then contribution. Both of them are uh, important, but Start with the novelty first. Oh, well, uh, what I believe that expert guided micro teaching here is a new model in Indonesia because um, previously the micro teaching class is guided by the lecturer, and in this in this research, the micro teaching class is guided by the expert teacher. In which you and Indonesia, uh, what is it? Um, if I'm not mistaken, in 2017, Cheng also conduct similar research, but the focus is the field in mathematics. Yeah, what I want to get is the novelty of the among the theories that are existing now. Yeah, okay, forget it. <laughs> and the last, what about the contribution? Theoretical contribution. To the existing theories and concepts. Okay, uh, as I told you before, that uh, talking about theoretical contribution means that this is about uh, what is it? Uh, this study also strengthened the socio-cultural theory. As I told you before, bro, uh, yes. this study contribute uh, strengthened the socio-cultural theory in which expert guided micro teaching. Uh, triggers pre-service English teacher to engage and learn from others to develop, uh, uh, what is it, um, creative teaching. Okay, thank you. It seems that the, my time is up. That's all from me. Wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Terima kasih, Pak Ketua. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam. Baik. Terima kasih, Prof. Anu. Penguji berikutnya, Sri Buli. Fitriati SPD MPD PSD dipersilakan Buli waktu maksimal 10 menit. Baik, terima kasih Bapak Ketua yang saya hormati, Ibu Siti Ayu, congratulations Ibu for completing your dissertation. Finally, you are able to sit down there, please. Oke, okay. um, there are some. Can you hear me clearly, Ibu Siti Ayu? Okay. Yes, thank you. There are some matters that I need you to clarify or to make confirmation. Okay, Ibu? Yeah. Um, based on your title, 
can you tell us who are the main key or the main um, research participants in your research? Well, the main research participant is pre-service English teachers, Ibu. Okay. Yes, absolutely, I agree with you. Uh, after reading your dissertation, I can conclude that the main uh, research participants are the pre-service uh, teacher. Those are the six semester students, right? Yes. Uh, however, in your first question, you talk about the role of the expert teacher. Can you explain about that, please? Yes, because to develop pre-service, okay, because this is the new one, the new model in uh, the micro teaching class. Mm -hmm. And to make sure that uh, the expert teacher can develop uh, pre-service English teachers pedagogical content knowledge and teaching environment. So um, the expert teacher must also be, uh, must also be investigated uh, in the way of uh, she, uh, what is it, assist pre-service English teacher, Sibu. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is what I feel when I read the first question. It seems that the expert teacher becomes your key in the key research participants in your dissertations that you already explained about that. You need to investigate their roles, right? Yeah. Okay. Now um, about the students' beliefs. Yeah, students' beliefs. Uh, the second research question, you investigated the students' beliefs about language teaching and learning. Yeah. And then if I'm mistaken, the finding is that uh, there is no changing of the belief. Yes. Okay. And can you explain how their beliefs influence their teaching performance in the micro teaching or in teaching in the rest? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, talking about belief, as I mentioned before, that belief is about what pre-service English teachers know, what pre-service English teachers think, yeah. and what pre-service English teachers uh, believe mm -hmm. about uh, language teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. And all will uh, all uh, influence them to do something in the teaching and learning process. So when they believe about what, uh, I mean that when they have uh, sufficient knowledge for what they are thinking about the teaching and learning process, it will affect to the process of the teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. As it is mentioned before that uh, beside knowledge and practice, belief also uh, determine whether or not the success of teaching and learning process. Okay. So that's why, yes, so that's why uh, beside uh, developing pedagogical content knowledge and also teaching environment, beliefs here are also investigated. Yeah. Okay. Um, could you please give us some evidence based on your research that their beliefs influence their teaching performance? All right. Uh, when, okay. Uh, dealing with, um, dealing with some aspect of uh, beliefs in language teaching and learning, for example, is the use of English uh, language teaching. Well, firstly, at the first point, at the first, at the beginning of the research, um, pre-service English teacher believed that the use of English in the classroom must be fully, uh, what is it, um, given to students. But uh, in fact, in the teaching and learning process, uh, because Indonesian students um, do not access English in their daily life, so they got difficulties in. Uh, what is it in explaining the subject matter in English and also the student also get difficulties in comprehending um, the subject matter that has been taught by the teacher. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, in the middle of their teaching, they have to, uh, what is it, change their, um, what is it, their perception about the use of English. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's talk about your research question number four and five, Ibu Siti Aima, Ibu Aima. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah? Because on research question number four and five, you talk about uh, teaching performance. Yes. Number four, teaching performance, and number five, teaching performance in teaching internship. Is that the same or different? Different. Uh, for the fourth one, maybe I have to add uh, the information for the fourth research question in which uh, the pre-service English teachers teaching for women in the micro teaching class. Yes. And for yes. the fifth one, uh, it is in the teaching internship. 
Okay, good. So you agree with me, yeah? Because when readers see that this is teaching performance and the other one teaching internship, it's like the same. Okay. Yeah. So uh, my suggestion is you add uh, in micro teaching. Okay, good. This is very interesting, Bu Aima, that um, your findings um, uh, show that the guidance from the expert teacher is very crucial. Yeah. Uh, do you have any suggestions, please? How um, LPTK, okay, are able to uh, look for expert teachers around us? Because <laughs> you know that perhaps not all uh, teachers are um, willing to take part in the micro teaching. What's your suggestion about that? All right. Uh, before that, I would like to tell you, Ibu, that uh, uh, what is it? Talking about the expert teacher actually uh, referring to the criteria, re referring to the criteria mentioned by the expert teacher, and also um, referring to the Ministry of National Education number 16 year 2007. Well, um, the qualification of the the expert teacher here is only uh, have uh, what is it? Uh, the 10 minimum years of teaching experiences and also the expertise of uh, managing the classroom uh, is recognized and admitted by peers and school administrators. But uh, after consulting to my permitters, because, well, because the needs of this uh, research is to fulfill the requirements for a doctorate degree, yeah. that's we have to reconsider the qualification of the educational uh, background for the expert teacher in which uh, she has a doctorate degree. Mm, I see. Okay. So I'm afraid yeah. that, uh, well, I'm afraid that to find uh, the expert teacher just like uh, mm -hmm. that uh, who is involved in uh, the micro teaching class will, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, mm -hmm. uh, somewhere, uh, someone else will get difficulties for finding, uh, for um, looking for the expert teacher. Okay, so in relation with uh, that difficulties, what are your suggestions, Bu? Um, maybe it depends on the needs of our research, B. Ibu, because, mm -hmm. yeah, because, well, because this, this research is conducted to a doctorate degree in which I need a comprehensive data, mm -hmm. I need a maximum result, that's why the qualification must also um, be considered. Mm -hmm. and, Maybe for the general research, we can, yeah, we can find uh, for the master maybe. Mm, okay. So does it mean that um, this idea a um, uh, little bit uh, challenging if it is applied in our reality, something yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, Waima. And uh, yes, you also explain in your findings that the expert teacher gave some exemplary lessons. How did, yeah. she, how did she do that? Yeah, because uh, during giving the feedback, when pre-service English teacher got difficulties in, uh, what is it, in comprehending the expert teacher explanation, then the expert teacher tried to stimulate, uh, to uh, not stimulate, uh, demonstrate the teaching and learning process as what she said before. So, uh, it gives clear guidance for pre-service English teacher. Oh yeah, I have to do that for the teaching and learning process, for example. Okay, good. So the point is modeling. Yes. Is that right? Okay, yes. good. And what are the benefits of this research for you yourself, Ibu Aima? In well, your own teaching competency. All right, because I myself is also a teacher, is a lecturer. Mm -hmm. So the point thing that I have to understand, the, three, the, the first point that must, must be understand is uh, I have to uh, understand the three roles of the advisor because uh, when it is not also conducted in the micro teaching class, I think that uh, playing the roles of the advisor in the teaching and learning process is also required Ibu. So yes, trying to understand the three roles of the advisor and also uh, try to uh, play the roles. Okay, very good, very good explanations. And I'm, I'm happy, yeah, <laughs> with your explanation. Um, time is up for me. Thank you again, Bu Aima. Saya kembalikan ke Bapak Direktur, ke Bapak Ketua. Terima kasih, Bapak Ketua. Baik, terima kasih, Bu Muli. Penguji berikutnya, Profesor Dr. Januarius Mujianto M. Hum. Dipersilakan, Prof. Yan. 
Waktu uh, maksimal masih, 10 menit. Terima kasih, Prof. Uh, Agus Nuryatin, sebagai ke Sekretaris Pemuji, Bapak Direktur. Uh, first of all, I should like to congratulate uh, Siti Aima for um, completing the um, <coughs> the draft of your dissertation. Uh, congratulations yeah, for that. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to um, inform the audience that uh, before as a requirement uh, for to fulfill the requirements of um, uh, sitting for the examination, City AIMA has written uh, two uh, articles, two research articles uh, that were published in Scopus indexed uh, journals. Yeah, one is in Journal of Asia Tevel, yeah, Scopus um, Q1, uh, Pedagogy Journal, Scopus Q3, yeah, and she also wrote um, uh, a uh, proceeding in the ISAT, yeah, uh, which was presented um, in uh, last year, right, and she also uh, wrote uh proceeding yeah, that was um, presented in uh in 19 uh, uh right 2019 right april 2019 okay uh, with those um with those uh works i think um, well uh, she has achieved um, yeah she has a very good uh, uh, achievement right yeah so according to some According to some rules, yeah, it is not actually not necessary to uh, sit for this sort of examination right, with these four uh, works, right? But uh, because the uh, mechanism is not there, then you still have to uh, sit uh, here, right? Okay, and um, uh, my question is about is a question, right? Yeah, so Sunday question, right? Yeah. Um, what is actually the um, pronoun of teacher? The pronoun uh, teacher, right? Uh, is she or he? She or he. All right. Uh, for this reset, she. Uh, why, why is it she? Why not say he? Because the expert teacher is female, bro. Of female, right? So, is there only one expert teacher or several expert teachers? Only one expert teacher. Only one expert teacher. Okay, yeah. So, uh, right. Did you um, uh, put uh, any explanation in your dissertation, I right? So, to make sure that there is only one uh, expert teacher that is she, right? It's not he, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, very good. Um, then you are talking about the effectiveness of micro, micro teaching, yeah, to improve uh, belief, uh, content knowledge, and uh, teachers' performance, right? Yeah. Did you um, relate the three variables, yeah, variables of belief, content knowledge, and uh, teacher performance, yeah? That's it, bro. But I'm interested to, uh, what is it? For further research, I would like to try to relate because I'm also uh, curious to know the correlation between beliefs, pedagogical content knowledge, and teaching performance. Because uh, theoretically, uh, based on the literature that I have read, actually, uh, between beliefs, pedagogical content knowledge, and teaching performance uh, are related to each other. But okay. in this research, in this study, I have been, um, what is it, examined the relation between uh, three of them. All right. Okay. So, wh why did you choose belief rather than other other variables? Yes, because as I told you before, as I mentioned before, that beliefs also determine the success of teaching and learning besides and practice. Mm -hmm. So that okay. what the what preserving this teacher know about teaching and learning, what they are thinking, what they are believe will influence. Uh, how they have to conduct the teaching and learning process in the classroom. Okay, we are looking forward to uh, seeing your um, research on the relations uh, between belief, content knowledge, and teacher performance, right? Because this is very important, right? Yeah. 
Okay, and then the next question is about uh, research question number one. Yeah, research question one. Yeah, uh, right. How well did the expert teacher play her roles in the micro teaching class? Right. Yeah. Uh, play their roles in the micro teaching class. Okay. What is the relevance of this question? The reference. Oh. Uh, relevance. What Rele is the relevance of this question? Um, the roles mm -hmm. of the advisor. Yeah, right. Yeah. Why is it relevant for you to ask this kind of question? Yeah. Well, because it influences uh, the way the expert teacher in assisting and also guiding the uh, pre-service English teacher to develop their pedagogical content knowledge and teaching programming goal. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, when we can look at how well the expert teacher in playing the roles in uh, playing the roles of the advisor in the micro teaching class, mm -hmm. yeah, as as Profian said before that, yeah, it must be related to another variable. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyway. Anyway, you um, claim that uh, it is relevant, right? It is relevant to us about the teachers' roles in this uh, research. Okay. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, now, um, I'm. I'd like to uh, you to clarify the relations uh, between table three point two. Table 3.2, Table 3.3, and Table 3.4, right? 3.2, yeah. 3.3, and 3.4, yeah. Okay, did you find it? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. 3.2, 3.3. Uh, and 3.4, right, yeah. Sure. All right. Okay. Is there any interrelationship uh, between these three uh, 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 tables or not? Well, uh, this is uh, dealing with table 3.2. This is about the interpretation of uh, the result of lesson plan and content knowledge. Yeah, Prof. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And right. then for 3.3, this is uh interpretation of okay uh the roles of the expert teacher oh yeah okay for table 3.3 this is about uh, the result interpretation the interpretation uh, the interpretation of the result for the roles of the expert teacher in the micro teaching class beliefs and pedagogical content knowledge so when we get the data for okay when we get the data of lesson plan and also content knowledge, so it must be, uh, what is it? It must be consulted with this table, Prof. I mean, uh, referring to, okay, referring to uh, who in 2014, dealing with uh, how to interpret the result of lesson plan and content knowledge. Okay, right. Okay, okay. But um, how did you determine the... Uh... Uh, scale, uh, scale, yeah. Say, uh, excellent is uh, the range is 90 to uh, 90 to 100, right? And then the very good uh, ranges between 79 and 89, yeah. What is the basis to determine this scale? Well, uh, it is actually from um, I forget with the uh, with the source of this prof, but uh, what I believe that. This interpret this interpretation has been taken from the research uh, from the from the previous research. Okay, if uh, yes, you have time, then you try to check it, right? Uh, to uh, try to check, yeah. So which uh, reference is used uh, to yes. determine this sort of scale? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so it relates. Uh, uh, it relates to. Uh, table 3.3 and table 3.4, yeah, because in table 3.2, you have five scales. In table 3.3, you have four scales, right? And in table uh, 3.4, you've got four scales also, right? 
yeah, which means that uh, there is a, a difference, yeah, in scaling, yeah, in scaling. So um, yeah, it is necessary for you to justify this, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to answer the question now because the time is up. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, terima kasih, Prof. Agus Nuryatin. Yeah. Okay. Baik, makasih, Prof. Yan. Penguji berikutnya, Ibu Dr. Dwi Anggani, LBMBG. Silakan, Bu Anggani, waktu maksimal 10 menit. Hmm. Ya. Yeah. Terima kasih, Bapak. <coughs> Sekretaris uh, Ujian Terbuka, ya uh, Profesor Dr. Agus Nuryatin Mhum yang saya hormati. Suara saya jelas ya Pak? Jelas Ibu. Oh ya udah, ya terima kasih. <coughs> Congratulations to Bu Aima that you have Uh, completed ya yeah, your draft ya yeah, and you do it ya yeah, uh, in a very short of time ya yeah, I think ya yeah, um, because uh, less than two months ya yeah, you have finished ya yeah, with the uh, revision ya yeah. and I uh, see the progress of your What is that? Your report, yeah, research report, and then you add some uh, something that it is very uh, useful for the readers to see comprehensively all the findings and results. Yeah, that is why now uh, I want to clarify. Maybe almost the same with Prof. Yan. Yeah, uh, my question is, yeah, to see. The what is it? The summary, yeah. I just want to clarify what are the criteria, yeah, yeah? the criteria of effectiveness, yeah, uh, statistically, yeah, the criteria, yeah, because yeah, um, there is or oh, there are some criteria, yeah, you use, yeah. Uh, and then it is stated in your table, ya, yeah, statistically. Maybe uh, I just want to, I just want you to clarify it, ya, yeah, a little bit. So you can, uh, from the uh, statistical result, you can justify that a certain research question is effective. So what are the criteria? Well, it seems that uh, I missed for this part, Ibu. So, criteria for the effectiveness mm -hmm. uh, has not been uh, what is completed yet in this uh, dissertation. But, well, uh, for mm -hmm. it, making sure or for determining whether um, expert micro teaching is effective, uh, it can be measured mm -hmm. or it can be I mean through um, the GLM repeated measure test. So based on the result of the GLM repeated measure test, and also based on the result of the end game, mm -hmm. I interpret uh, whether or not expert guided micro teaching is effective. But I would try to uh, what is it? Mm -hmm. this information, Ibu, because yes, I missed this information for uh, completing the criteria for the effectiveness itself. Yeah, yeah. So I hope you can put it before, before the table. So uh, we can have yeah the same, what is that? The same understanding, yeah, whether it is effective or not, yeah, based on the criteria, and then we can check it, yeah, one by one, yeah. Of course, yeah, the sources are also uh, important, yeah, to put there. It doesn't matter you use different yeah different criteria or sources but put yeah put every source yeah before you use yeah to justify that the result is effective or not yeah you know what I mean yeah. Aima? Uh, yeah. because if we have no uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. if we have no uh, same, yeah, not the same. Um, what is that? Uh, the same source. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, why? Why? So my question: Why do I ma justify that it is effective? I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Though there is or there are some numeric or statistical results. Yeah. Uh, only yeah. that. I am. My uh, question if, is very simple. And then, uh, uh, what? Yeah. Uh, based my on next the... question. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. Based yeah, on my the... next question. Yeah. The simple yeah. one. What is, yeah, what is the follow up? Yeah. When you have done the research and then you, you got the findings or results already. What is the follow up? Yeah. In your in your mind, yeah, for the betterment of the micro teaching uh, subject, yeah, after you have done the research and then got the findings or result. Okay, uh, the first point that uh, the lecturer or the advisor must understand the roles of the advisor in the micro teaching class. That's the first point that must be. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, what is it that must be completed by the lecturer and then try to learn how to uh, what is it how to play the roles of the advisor in the micro teaching class how to give uh, how to play the role of instructor counselor and also evaluator so micro in in conducting the teaching in and learning process in the micro teaching class uh, doesn't mean that it is only uh, giving in uh, evaluation for pre-service English teacher performance but also, uh, as I mentioned before, that uh, guidance and also assistance uh, are still required by pre-service English teacher to develop their performance. And apa lagi tadi ya, Bu? Pertanyaannya apa? Ya, pertanyaannya hanya the, the, uh, the follow-up yeah, of the research yeah, that you have done yeah, about the findings and results. Okay, good. Uh, next question, yeah, maybe the last one. Do you find in the field yeah, that uh, some supervisors of micro teaching, especially in your institution, do not have the qualification, good qualification to be the supervisor? I mean, because there are many actually, many participants of micro teaching. Yeah, sometimes not only one lecturer will supervise the micro teaching session mm -hmm. do you find in the field that some what is that that some uh, supervisors in your institution especially do not have the uh, proper qualification to do that well i think that uh, maybe because we are still young ibu in which uh, our teaching experiences also under 10 years mm -hmm. because when uh, uh what is it uh, referring to the uh, criteria of uh, the expert teacher here must also have uh what is it the 10 minimum years of teaching experiences so so that i think that uh, by having uh teaching experiences um yeah um the lecturer or the expert teacher here can share some exemplary lesson to preserve English teachers. Yeah, it means that the lecturers are, are not only learn, yeah, do not only learn the teaching learning process in the uh, university level, but they have to know the teaching learning process in uh, senior or junior high schools because yes. Yeah, the product of your institution will teach at that institution. Do you think they are or they have the uh, qualified, qualified? I mean, um, experience, yeah, to do that or um, only what is that? A little bit, even the qualification of the graduation. Yeah, some of them are from. Uh, sastra or literary 
ya department some are from the education ya yeah. is there any uh, difficulties or gap in the field that you find um maybe yes Ibu. maybe you can you can ask the participants yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, the micro teaching participants uh, to have the questionnaire whether the not the expert teacher i mean the supervisor are okay or not in supervising the micro teaching session okay yeah, that is my suggestion yeah, maybe only some yeah some participants you can ask yeah not all yeah okay i think it's enough yeah from me thank you very much prof uh, dr agus nuryatin and whom yeah and then uh, saya kembalikan waktu kepada bapak terima kasih Terima kasih, Bu Dwi Anggani. Penguji berikutnya, Profesor Muslid Saleh, MA, PhD. Dipersilakan, Prof, waktu maksimal 10 menit. Prof. Mursid. Halo. Halo. Anje. Oh, Silakan, Prof. Mulai waktunya maksimal 10 menit. Ya, terima kasih Bapak Ketua, Bapak Sekretaris yang atas nama Ketua. Eh, uh, Prof. Enda, selamat pagi. Selamat pagi, Prof. Mm -mm, selamat atas keberhasilan ini mencapai titik terakhir yaitu ujian terbuka. Semoga ya, sukses. Amin, amin. Yang pertama, saya merasa gembira, senang, sekaligus gelol dan agak geli mendengar penjelasan dari Prof. Yan tadi bahwa kalau sudah empat artikel diterbitkan, tidak perlu ujian terbuka. <laughs> Itu yang diharapkan oleh yang diharapkan oleh Prof. Yan sebenarnya. Tapi ya, ini sudah terlanjur digelar sudah terlanjur tandan ya biar aja kita ikuti prosesnya siapa tahu hasil dari ujian ini memperbaiki hasil pada ujian tertutup itu ya insyaallah oke okay. uh, bu siti aima you mention somewhere in your dissertation about uh, try out that you conducted My question is, what was it that you tried out? The research, uh, the research instruments or what? Yes, the research instrument. The research instrument, Prof. The research tried in, out. Yes, the, in, the research instrument that were tried out to uh, pre-service English teachers of STKIP Jombang is the instrument of, um, what is it? Um, Pedagogical content knowledge, expert teacher, and then um, pedagogical content knowledge, and also uh, teaching performance. Okay. How could you justify the tryout that you conducted outside the research population and STK Abi Jumbang? Why did you do? Why, why did you do that? Why not? Why didn't you do that at uh, Universitas Muhammadiyah Semarang? Because uh, in Unimus, uh, there is only one class prof, and uh, the subject of participant is only 11 pre service English teachers. So that's why uh, I think that it is impossible for me to um, distribute the research instrument to be tried out to my students, my pre service English students. Mm. But I don't think it is justifiable to do try out outside the population of your own research because the people there may not have the same characteristics as the people at uh, Universal Mahmoudiyah. That is the problem. So the result of your tryout will not uh, guarantee 
then the research instrument will be valid because you tried it out to different people with different characteristics. So, well, I don't think uh, it is good. So you have you have to be uh, to be aware of this. You have to uh, clearly justify why you do it there by showing that those people at least share the same characteristics as the people at uh, Muhammadiyah University. Well, Itu ya, I... jadi, mm -mm. okay. Okay, may I add something? Yes, even though that uh, the result of the in uh, the result of the tryout is uh, valid and reliable, bro. Even though, even though that it is valid and reliable, because it is valid and reliable when it is uh, conducted outside the population. So mm -hmm. inside the population, mm -hmm. it may not be valid. It may not be reliable. That okay. is the problem. But what is done is okay. So it, I think it is just one flaw, one of okay. the flaws in your dissertation. Uh, how if? Okay, uh, now. <laughs> yep. Uh, how if the subject participant is limited, bro? Because the number of the uh, participant in Unimu is only 11 pre service English teacher, bro. For the you, you, you do it at different times. Hmm. Time. So, uh, the people in your research keeps their characteristics as they are and you do it twice and see whether they are consistent or not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then I, I share the same interest as Prof. Karno regarding your research conclusions. Research conclusions. Yes. In which you say that the expert guided the expert micro teaching does not. Oh, sorry. The expert teacher played good role as instructor, good role as evaluator, but not good role as counselor. Is it right? Yes. One, two, three. Yeah. Yes. Now, there you are not concluding. You are still presenting the result of your research by saying that the teacher played role as instructor quite well. Yes. Did not play her role as counselor well and yes. played her role as evaluator well. Yes. You, you were just presenting the result of your research. You are not concluding yet. Yep. What is your conclusion? Well, um, the correct one is actually on the conclusion, bro, uh, based on the result of the GLM repeated research test, because I also measure uh, each role, which is not um, measured generally. So that's why um, for the first point, the expert teacher uh, played the first role of instructor quite well, and it is uh, it can be proven from uh, the result of the GLM. Uh, it is it has been written in the dissertation, Prof. And the different condition happened to the second role in which the expert teacher didn't uh, play the role as a counselor well. So um, and then for the third one, uh, it is the same as the first point for the. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the uh, for the role of evaluator, the expert teacher also did quite well. Let me okay. share, bro, for the findings. Okay. Okay, based on the first three findings, I have my own conclusion. My conclusion is that the expert teacher plays her role in no way better in no way better than Guru Pamong. Mm. Am I right? Mm. The expert teachers place her role 
in no way better than Guru Pamung. He plays her role as instructor well, but he didn't play her role as counselor well. He plays the role as a fairy well. So, so he plays a role no, in no better way than Guru Pamong. Am I right? Maybe yes, bro. Okay. Uh, I think that yeah. I need to clarify this. Uh, I, I need to recheck this uh, point, bro. Okay. Okay. If my conclusion is correct, then. Uh, you may have further recommendation, which is different from your present recommendation. My mm -hmm. recommendation would be the use of expert teacher be discarded. That was a expert teacher. Mm. Okay, Guru Bamong, that's what they do. Um, for the micro teaching class, Paul? Yeah. Because. Uh, School teachers or group among actually uh, guide pre-service English teacher in the teaching internship. And for the micro teaching class, it is actually, it is commonly guided by the lecturer prof. Yeah, so we should go back to the old practice using guru among, using classroom teachers as, as the guides or as the advisor. Ada istilah advisor, ada istilah counselor. Are they different terms or they are the same terms? Instructor and counselor. I think that uh, it has different uh, different uh, different function. Yeah, because in your conclusion, you use the term counselor, but in your recommendation, you use the, the term advisor. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. And in your first recommendation, oh, sudah selesai. Ya, sudah. Ini dari Padang enggak aja kok ya. Okay. Uh, maaf, sudah cukup. Jadi terima kasih Bapak Sekretaris. Uh, saya kembalikan ke Bapak. Baik, terima kasih Prof. Musid. Penguji terakhir, Profesor Dr. B. Rukmini MPD. Dipersilakan, Prof. B. Rukmini, waktu maksimal 10 menit. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you for the chance, Profesor Dr. And... Thank you, uh, Congratulations that you have completed your draft of dissertation. Thank you, Ibu. Successfully, yes. And you are now here completing also the examination very, very well. Thank you, Ibu. Yeah. Ibu. I just want to ask you the main problem that you really want to solve then you do this study. Well, as I uh, presented before at no. the beginning. Huh? No, you haven't presented before that the problem, the main problem or no. I have, I have. Because I have mentioned that uh, the lack of pre-service English teachers' competence. Um, okay. yes, yes, I have mentioned at the beginning of my presentation. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> and you so, got the answer. Yeah, this is about uh, their ability in designing a lesson plan, in, in mastering the subject matter, and also in uh, managing time and classroom, which is also a part of pedagogical content knowledge. So this is about pre-service English teachers' ability to represent and formulate the content to be more comprehensible to students. Okay, and you propose your new technique of improving or uh, of solving the problem that yeah. by means of uh, the expert, how about that? 
expert guided micro teaching. Yes, expert guided teacher. Ya, yeah. dengan bantuan itu good. Oke, okay. I don't think that I have to ask you questions because okay, there are lots of questions, suggestions given to you. Uh, do please consider all of them when doing the revision, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't think that I want to ask you questions because I know exactly what you have written. I'm Thank your you. promoter. Thank you, Ibu. Yeah. Prof. Nuryatin, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Uh, di huruf ini, dengan demikian, semua penguji sudah memuji. Pertanyaan dan sanggahan penguji ujian promosi doktor selesai. Ketua penguji menunda ujian untuk memberikan waktu kepada para penguji melaksanakan rapat yudisium. Untuk memberikan waktu kepada tim penguji dalam menentukan hasil ujian. Dengan ini ujian promosi doktor atas nama Saudari, Saudari Siti Aimah SPD MPD dinyatakan ditunda. Rapat yudisium dipimpin oleh ketua penguji. Hmm. Ini bisa nyapa enggak ya?
Ujian promosi doktor pendidikan dilanjutkan kembali. Ketua penguji membuka kembali ujian promosi doktor pendidikan. Ujian promosi doktor pendidikan atas nama Saudari Siti Aimah SPD MPD dinyatakan dibuka kembali. Selanjutnya saya bacakan berita acara ujian disertasi tahap 2. Pada hari ini Kamis tanggal 17 bulan Desember tahun 2020 di Pasar Sarjana Universitas Negeri Semarang telah diselenggarakan ujian disertasi tahap 2 atas nama Siti Aimah SPD MPD pada program studi Ilmu Pendidikan Bahasa S3 Pasca Sarjana UNES dengan disertasi yang berjudul The Effectiveness of Expert Guided Micro Teaching in Developing Beliefs, Pedagogical Content Knowledge and Teaching Performance of Free Service English Teacher at Universitas Muhammadiyah Semarang. Setelah dilaksanakan ujian dan dilaksanakan rapat penguji, keputusan tim penguji menyatakan bahwa Siti Aimah SPD MPD dinyatakan lulus sebagai doktor pendidikan. Doktor Siti Aimah MPD adalah doktor ke 558 lulusan UNES atau doktor ke 110 lulusan Prodi Ilmu Pendidikan Bahasa S3 Pasca Sarjana UNES dengan masa studi 3 tahun 4 bulan. Karya ilmiah disertasi diberi penghargaan dengan nilai A sehingga IPK 3,91. Hasil akhir ujian promosi doktor pendidikan dengan predikat kelulusan dengan ujian atau komlot sekretaris penguji Profesor Dr. Agus Nuryadin Embum. Pembacaan selesai. Ketua penguji mempersilahkan promotor untuk menyampaikan pesan dan kesan. Promotor dipersilakan menyampaikan kesan dan kesan. Suara Prof. Firuk Mini dimunculkan. Betul. Ya. Terima kasih Prof. Agus Nuryatin. Saya diberi kesempatan untuk memberi kesan dan pesan sebagai promotor. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, thanks God for this successful examination of Ibu Aima dissertation. Yeah. Ibu Aima, selamat, congratulations. You have done very, very well during the examination. Thank you, Ibu. Yeah, okay. Hmm. The first impression that I can say for Ibu Aimah is that Ibu Aimah is a very, very energetic person yeah, who tends not to give up in anything she believes. Yes. And this is proved by the very thick dissertation, 500 something, great, hebat. Yes. She is also a consistent woman because when you learn for all the answers given during the examination, she doesn't easily uh, give up, yes when uh, the examiner gave 
somewhat uh, negative evaluation on what he, she writes. That's great. And you can prove, okay, <laughs> clearly that you are right. Bagus banget. Yeah. Thank she is also a very good mother, a very good wife. She also involves all activities, including uh, the educational activities. Okay. Her beloved husband, who used to be my boss. Yeah. Selalu menemani terus. Ya, jadi kalau di rumah saya itu mesti berdua dan mesra banget. Oke, okay. bagus sekali. Ya, uh, for the classic words as other promoters give to um, the student, Ibu Aima, I will say this: this is not the end of your educational ever yes in improving you as a lecturer this is still a star meaning that you have to make lots of studies lots of reading lots of learning yes for improving indonesian english education Setuju kan Bu Anggani? Iya, <laughs> yeah. setuju banget. Iya, yeah, iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. karena Bapak sudah tambah satu lagi doktor, yaitu Ibu Aimah yang lulusnya cum laude. Hebat banget. Yes. Apalagi ya, terus terang ini saya ngantuk karena saya harus nunggu lama banget tadi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. So these do keep on okay, conducting studies for the improvement of English education in Indonesia. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah. I'm speechless in front of you. <laughs> Terima kasih banget ya. Terima kasih. Selamat Pak Rektor, selamat Pak Bambang. Ya, istrinya memang very super ini ya, sudah pinter, cantik, sabar. Terus aduh hai. Ya. Juga Pak Rektor ini wah punya Lecturer yang seperti ini jarang loh, udah cantik and low profile, ya. Mesti ngomongnya oh 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 no. ya saya seneng deh pokoknya, nggak pernah aku mesti bener gitu. Oke, okay. I think that's all for me. Good luck. Oh, yes. oh. hadap hadapi dunia ini dengan kecemerlangan Anda yang luar biasa. Insya Allah. Oke. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Matur nuwun, Pak Agus Nuryatin, saya udah ngantuk. Oke, okay. thank you very much. Ujian promosi doktor pendidikan atas nama Dr. Siti Aimah MPD ditutup oleh Ketua Penguji. Baik. Alhamdulillah dan dengan seizin Bapak, Ibu, serta hadirin sekalian, ujian promosi doktor pendidikan atas nama Dr. Siti Aimah MPD secara resmi saya nyatakan ditutup. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Upacara selesai, dilanjutkan dengan pemberian ucapan selamat. Ucapan selamat diawali oleh Ketua Penguji yang pada kesempatan pada siang ini diwakilkan oleh Sekretaris. Kepada Profesor Dr. Agus Nuryatin Ehum, dipersilahkan. Baik. Atas nama Ketua Penguji, Arator, Nama saya sebagai Sekretaris Penguji, saya mengucapkan selamat pada 
Ibu Dr. Siti Aima dan mudah-mudahan gelar doktor mendapat menambah berkah bagi saudara keluarga dan instansi dan bangsa dan negara. Saya juga ucapan selamat kepada suami ibu Mbak karena sudah ikut mengantarkan istri menjadi doktor. Ada putra-putra yang selamat. Pesan saya kepada Bu Siti Aimah ya, setelah jadi dokter, mohon tambah setia uh, kepada suami. Kemudian, baru kemarin ada hal-hal yang mungkin dilupakan karena itu mengurus dokter, dan nanti mohon ditebus. Rapel tidak perlu untuk semua hal. Kemudian saya ucapkan selamat juga pada Kunimus, khususnya pada Pak Rektor, pada eh, jajaran WR dan keluarga besar Unimus, karena sudah mengantar salah satu dosen Unimus menjadi doktor dan terima kasih atas nama UNES karena Unimus eh, menyekolahkan dosen-dosennya di UNES, Pasar Sarjana UNES. Demikian, Sapan, sekali lagi terima kasih. Bu Siti Aimah, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selanjutnya, ucapan selamat dari anggota tim penguji yang diawali oleh Profesor Dr. Soekarno, MSI. Kepada beliau, dipersilakan. Terima kasih. Bu Ibu Dr. Siti Aima, selamat. Semoga ya membawa manfaat dan barokah kepada semuanya dari cara individual, sekeluarga dan lembaga bangsa dan negara. Jangan pernah bosan, jangan pernah lelah untuk berkarya. Moga-moga semakin cemerlang ke depan. Amin. Selamat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dilanjutkan oleh Ibu Sri Wuli Fitriati, SPD, MPD, PhD. Kepada beliau dipersilahkan. Terima kasih, Mbak Ermin. Alhamdulillahirobbil alamin. Selamat, Ibu Dokter Siti Aima. I want to hug you. Selamat kepada Pak Bambang, kepada kedua putra Bu Siti Aima dan Pak Bambang. Kepada keluarga besar Bu Siti Aimah di Lampung dan keluarga besar Pak Bambang di Bojonegoro, saya haturkan selamat. Barakallah untuk Unimus dan Barakallah untuk UNES. Mudah-mudahan ke depannya kita masih terus bekerja sama ya Bu. Insya Allah untuk mencapai uh, ridha Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala Baik, sekali lagi terima kasih uh, Ibu Dr. Siti Aimah atas uh, amanahnya <laughs> menunjuk saya sebagai penguji dalam ya. <laughs> terima kasih Mbak Ermin. Baik, dilanjutkan oleh Profesor Dr. Januarius Mujianto M. Hum. Kepada beliau dipersilahkan. Uh, terima kasih. Ya, um, kepada Dr. Siti Aimah, uh, selamat, congratulations. Ya. Uh, saya sampaikan juga uh, ke Pak Bambang, ya. Pak Siti, ya. Ya. <laughs> Pak Siti, ya. dan uh, Pak Bambang, ya Pak Bambang segera menyusul. Ya. Uh, congratulations juga saya sampaikan ke Unimus, khususnya uh, Prof. Mas Ruki um, mendapat tambahan dokter baru dari UNES itu ya. Oke, okay, uh, selamat, ya. selamat. Mudah-mudahan uh, Unimus semakin jaya, semakin kuat, dan semakin sukses di masa-masa yang akan datang. Itu terima kasih. Ya. Terima kasih. Baik, selanjutnya kepada Dr. Dwi Anggani LB MPD, dipersilahkan. Bu Anggani, dipersilahkan Ibu untuk memberikan ucapan selamat. Iya, iya. Ya. 
Bisa, bisa ya. Uh, congratulations, Bu. Uh, congratulations, Bu Siti Aimah, ya, atas capaian hari ini, ya, terutama, ya. Sebenarnya saya tidak asing lagi dengan Ibu Siti Aimah karena waktu S2 juga saya supervisornya, ya, terus pernah bekerja sama. Uh, di penelitian simlit tap mas ya jadi saya sudah paham apa ritme kerjanya bu siti aima tidak perlu saya opia opia sudah bagus dan akan dan berakhir dengan baik ya tepat waktu oleh karena itu uh, lulus dengan cum laude saya bangga dengan bu siti aima ya banyak ketemu ya sejak dulu <laughs> ya sampai sekarang ya Uh, Bu Aimah uh, menggunakan waktunya dengan sangat efisien dan efektif dan berusaha keras mengeksplorasi informasi-informasi yang diberikan dalam diskusi ya uh, oleh promotor. Jadi akhirnya bisa lulus dengan cepat dan bagus. Ya semoga uh, lebih bermanfaat ya. Akan ketemu lagi di event-event lainnya di luar kampus Pasar Sarjana mungkin ya. Dan moga-moga ya sukses tentu saja uh, di dalam menapai karirnya sebagai dosen, ya um, sebagai doktor. Terima kasih hanya itu yang bisa saya sampaikan. Sekali lagi selamat ya. Terus juga sana. untuk keluarga tentu saja ya. Ye. Sami Sami. Selanjutnya Profesor Mursyid Saleh MA PhD kepada beliau dipersilahkan. Ya. Uh, Alhamdulillah saya ikut bersyukur atas keberhasilan Mbak Siti Aima. Yang keberhasilan ini tentu saja sekaligus juga, kecuali sebagai keberhasilan pribadi Bu Siti Aimah, ini juga merupakan keberhasilan keluarga dan lembaga dalam hal ini Universitas Muhammadiyah. Jadi selamat juga kepada keluarga dan lembaga. Uh, kalau ini sudah selesai S3, maka salam saya ini salam S4, Mbak. S4 ya. Apa itu, Prof? Sehat. Sehat. Sukses. Oke. Sejahtera. Sejahtera. Solihah Dan yang ya, tidak boleh lupa, solihah. Oke, siap insyaallah. Oke. Pat itu. Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum. Selamat. Atunuwun Pak. Selanjutnya Profesor Dr. Dwi Rukmini MPD. Berkenan untuk menyampaikan pesan dan kesan kembali atau ucapan selamat. Selamat Bu Aminah. Eh Aimah, masya Allah. Selamat. Semoga barokah untuk Bu Aminah, Bu Aimah sendiri, keluarganya, institusinya dan Indonesia. Patanuwun Ya. Kita tunggu undangannya sebentar lagi jadi profesor. Oke. Okay. <laughs> harus tunya, Prof. Masih banyak harus belajar. Amin. Ya, Prof. Tuhan sangat harus tunya. Baik, dan seluruh tamu undangan diperkenankan untuk memberikan ucapan selamat kepada Bu Dr. Siti Aina. Uh, yang ini ya? Ya, Mungkau? Ini ya? Ya. Ya, Congratulations Bu Dr. Siti Keren. Direktur, terima kasih. Kompleks karena ini sudah semester 2. Prof. Wiwi, terima kasih. Prof. Soekarno, terima kasih. Dan para penguji yang lain, 
Semoga menjadi keberkahan Amin. Di kita semua. Amin. Amin. Mas Rui, mata nuwun sangat.